geometric sequences. Do not forget to subscribe and, if you have any question, feel free to ask or suggest anything. Pay attention in the following sequences. In the first sequence, we move from one number to the next by multiplying by 3. In the second sequence, we move from one number to the next by multiplying by one half. The patterns involve multiplying a number to each term to get the next term. Sequences with such patterns are called geometric sequences. A geometric sequence is a sequence in which each term after the first is found by multiplying the previous term by a constant r. Look at the first sequence again. Dividing each term by the value of the term before it, we get 3. We can state that the common ratio is 3, since the ratio between consecutive terms is always 3. Look at the second sequence. Dividing each term by the value of the term before it, we get 1 half. We can state that the common ratio is 1 half, since the ratio between consecutive terms is always one half. The common ratio of a geometric sequence is the constant ratio between consecutive terms. The common ratio is denoted by R. Suppose we take the following sequence. and we want to work out the 31st term. We can do this by multiplying by 3, starting from 5 until we reach the 31st term. But it takes a long time, so if we found a formula, the task would be easier. It's possible to build up a formula to find the nth term for any possible n of a geometric sequence in terms of the first term and the common ratio. Pay attention. Suppose the first term of a geometric sequence is a sub 1 and the common ratio is r. We can rewrite this sequence as follows. The second term is the first term multiplied by the common ratio. The third term is the second term multiplied by the common ratio. The fourth term is the third term multiplied by the common ratio, and so on. At each stage, the power of common ratio is one less than the term number. Following this pattern, the formula for the general term of a geometric sequence is given by Consider the sequence. Find the common ratio. In a geometric sequence, the ratio between consecutive terms is constant, and it does not matter which pair we pick, the result is always the same. So, the common ratio is 4. Find a formula for the general term. Substitute the values of first term and common ratio into the formula. Find the ninth term of this sequence. To find the ninth term, substitute n with 9 into the formula and perform the calculations. Consider the sequence. Find the common ratio. In a geometric sequence, the ratio between consecutive terms is constant, so the common ratio is 3. Find a formula for the general term. Substitute the values of first term and common ratio into the formula.
find the sixth term of the sequence. To find the sixth term, substitute n with 6 into the formula. Perform the calculations. How many terms are there in the sequence? This is the same as asking, what is the position of the last term in the sequence? We want the value of n from the last term. Take the general term formula and replace the value of a sub n or nth. Perform the calculations. Solve the exponential equation.